Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm pretty sure most of you heard about the North American Mastodon or the Woolly Mammoth, but how much do you know about the Mesozoic Era's ancient pachyderms? Some of these are the origins of modern elephants, which date from tens of millions of years ago. In today's video, we show the evolution of elephants over 60 million years, beginning with the pig-sized Phosphotherium and ending with Primelephas, the immediate precursor of modern pachyderms. Number 10. Phosphotherium 56 million years ago Only 5 million years after the dinosaurs died out, mammals had grown to enormous proportions. The 3-foot-long, 30-pound Phosphotherium phosphate beast looked more like a tapir or a small pig than a modern elephant. But features of its head, teeth, and skull confirm its identity as an early proboscid. Phosphotherium most likely led an amphibious lifestyle, foraging for tasty vegetation in the floodplains of Paleocene, Northern Africa. Number 9. Fiamia, 37 million years ago. If you went back in time and saw Phosphotherium, you wouldn't know whether it was fated to become a pig, an elephant, or a hippopotamus. The same cannot be said for Pheomia, a 10-foot-long, half-ton, early Eocene proboscid that was unmistakably related to elephants. The telltale signs were Pheomia's elongated front teeth and flexible snout, which resembled modern elephant tusks and trunk. Number 8. Paleomastodon 35 million years ago. Despite its evocative name, Paleomastodon was not a direct ancestor of the North American Mastodon, which appeared tens of millions of years later. Rather, this Fiamir's rough contemporary was an impressively sized ancestral proboscid, about 12 feet long and 2 tons, that stomped across northern African swamps and dredged up vegetation with its scoop-shaped lower tusks, in addition to the pair of shorter, straighter tusks in its upper jaw. Number 7. Moeritherium, 35 million years ago. Moeritherium was the third of our three northern African proboscis, following Pheomia and Paleomastodon. It was much smaller, only about 8 feet long and 300 pounds, with proportionately smaller tusks and trunk. This Eocene proboscid was distinct in that it lived a hippopotamus-like lifestyle, basking half-submerged in rivers to protect itself from the harsh African sun. Moeritherium, as one might expect, occupied a branch of the pachyderm evolutionary tree that was not directly ancestral to modern elephants. Number 6. Gomphotherium, 15 million years ago. Paleomastodon's scoop-shaped lower tusks clearly conferred an evolutionary advantage. Consider the even more massive shovel-shaped tusks of the fully elephant-sized Gomphotherium, 20 million years later. In the eons since, ancestral elephants have actively migrated across the world's continents, resulting in the oldest Gomphotherium specimens dating to early Miocene North America, with the later species native to Africa and Eurasia. Are you enjoying this video? If so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Number 5. Dinotherium 10 million years ago Dinotherium shares the same Greek root as dinosaur for a reason. This terrible mammal was one of the largest proboscids ever to walk the earth, rivaled in size only by long extinct thunder beasts like Brontotherium. Various species of this 5-ton proboscid survived for nearly 10 million years, until the last of the breed were slaughtered by early humans before the last ice age. It's even possible that Dinotherium influenced ancient myths about giants, though this is far from proven. Number 4. Stegotetrabelodon 8 million years ago Who can resist Stegotetrabelodon, a prehistoric elephant? This seven-syllable behemoth, its Greek roots translate as four-roofed tusks, was native to the Arabian Peninsula of all places, and one herd left a set of footprints representing individuals of various ages, which were discovered in 2012. There's still a lot we don't know about this four-tusked proboscid, but it suggests that much of Saudi Arabia was once a lush habitat rather than the parched desert it is today. Number 3. Platybelodon, 5 million years ago. 
Platybelodon, the only animal to have its own spork, was the logical conclusion of the line of evolution that started with Paleomastodon and Gomphotherium. Platybelodon's lower tusks were so fused and flattened that they resembled modern construction hardware. Clearly, this proboscid spent its days scooping up moist vegetation and shoveling it into its absolutely huge mouth. Platybelodon, by the way, was closely related to the Amebelodon, another elephant with distinctive tusks. Number 2. Cuvarionius, 5 million years ago. Elephants are not typically associated with the South American continent. That's what makes Cuvaronius unique. This small proboscid, only about 10 feet long and 110, colonized South America during the Great American Interchange, which was made possible by the appearance of the Central American land bridge a few million years ago. The massive tusk Cuvaronius, named after naturalist Georges Cuvier, survived until the end of history, when it was hunted to death by early Argentine Pampa settlers. Number 1. Primelophas, 5 million years ago. With Primelophas, the first elephant, we have the direct evolutionary ancestor of modern elephants. Primelophas was the last common ancestor of both living African and Eurasian elephants, as well as the recently extinct woolly mammoth. An unwary observer might mistake Primelophas for a modern pachyderm. The giveaway is the small shovel tusks jutting out of its lower jaw, a relic of its distant ancestors. And that was all for today. Do you have any suggestions for a future video topic? And if so, which one? Let us know in the comment section. TopTube will be back next week. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.